Hey everybody. Today we're talking about confidence intervals and sample size. Suppose we have a simple random sample of size n with a sample mean x bar. We can construct a level c confidence interval for the population mean mu using this formula. Mu equals x bar plus or minus z star sigma over the square root of n. Here z star is the critical z score corresponding to the confidence level c and sigma is the population standard deviation. The term z star sigma over the square root of n is called the margin of error of the estimate. The idea is that when we construct an interval like this, a confidence interval like this, mu will be within the margin of error of x bar, our sample mean, c percentage of the time, roughly speaking. Now, here's a natural question to ask. Suppose we're planning a study and we need a margin of error to be no larger than some threshold, and let's call it e. How large a sample do we need? So we're in a situation where we have e, the margin of error that's required, c, the level of confidence that we're specifying, and sigma, the population standard deviation, which right now we're assuming is known. We need to find little n. Algebraically, that just means solving this equation for n. Now, that's not too bad. We multiply both sides by the square root of n, divide both sides by e, and then square both sides. To get, n equals the quantity z star sigma over e, quantity squared. Now, if we don't get an integer here, and we usually don't since z star tends to be irrational, we're going to need to round this up. Increasing sample size decreases the margin of error. If we were to round down, decreasing n, we would potentially be increasing the margin of error past the threshold e that we've set. Remember throughout this that the z star is coming from the confidence level c that we specify at the beginning of the process. That z star can be computed from c using technology or a table like this one. Now I don't usually like using tables to do stats, but there's only a few commonly used values for c so this table is small and very reasonable to use. In particular, C equals 0.95 is by far the most common level of confidence that you'll encounter. And the corresponding Z score of 1.960 will tend to get stuck in your brain fairly quickly. Let's do an example. Suppose we want to determine a, st a statistician's weight to the nearest half pound with 95% confidence using a scale that has a standard deviation of 1.2 pounds. So, not, that, not the most accurate scale in the world. How many times do we have to actually weigh the statistician? So the minimum sample size required is going to be given by that formula, which we can now just plug into. With 95% confidence, we have a z star of 1.960. I've also plugged in sigma equals 1.2 and um, margin of error, e equals 0.5. Um, simplifying all of that, multiplying everything out, dividing, squaring, we get 22.1, which we immediately round up to 23. We have to weigh the statistician 23 times to know their weight um, to the nearest half pound with 95% confidence. Now, as you'd expect, if we increase the confidence level, we're going to also have to increase the sample size. So for example, if we want a 99% confidence interval here, um, we get a larger sample size required, in this case 38.2, which rounds up to 39 weighings. On the other hand, if we're going to increase the margin of error, for example, to 0 0.08, while keeping everything else the same, that's going to reduce the sample size we need. If we're OK with a larger margin of error, we, need a, uh, we don't need as large a sample. In this case, increasing the margin of error to 0 0.8 reduces the sample size needed all the way down to 9. One final example. A manufacturer wants to determine the mean weight of a certain sort of iron nail within 0.2 grams. Find the sample size necessary to do this with 99% confidence if the population standard deviation is 0.5 grams. We're using the same formula here. Now, with 99% confidence, we have a critical z-score of 2.576. For example, using that table from a few slides ago. 
sigma is 0 0.5, is 0 0.5 and the uh, margin of error that we are requiring is 0 0.2 grams. Simplifying all of that, we get n is 41.5, which we round up to get 42. This manufacturer needs to weigh at least 42 nails to be 99% confident of a margin of error no worse than 0.2 grams.